Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. We've had eight requests for Mob Psycho in the Discord, so we're going to do it. This is Explosion of Mob Feelings. The music is by Kawaii Kenji. I'm looking forward to hearing this. Let's go. Mob Psycho. How psycho is this going to be? All right, here we go. Okay, that's cool. So we have this, uh, well, we obviously drop into this house like techno. That's fun. But the beginning, we have this boom, two, three, four, da -ga -dum, two, da -ga -dum. cool rhythm that uh, has like a lot of reverb on it. So it kind of like pushes past the bar line a little bit. That's pretty fun. I can't, what is this? Is this like a keyboard part that's happening? Yeah. But the best. Yeah, the best part is that swelling, like, backwards suspended cymbal sound. Like, it might not be, but it just, to me, it sounds like a, a cymbal that's, like, in reverse, which is kind of a cool uh, of effect. But uh, it also just could be percussion stuff. They just edit it in the DAW, and they hit, like, one button on their keyboard, and they're getting that, too. But uh, either way, whatever. It sounds great. Let's keep going. That was cool because the previous time we had ba -da, that's like a minor second resolution. We kind of things like Phrygian mode. We're just thinking flat too. But that's how it went. Ba -da, it resolved up there. I'm going to go back uh, 10 seconds. We'll just grab that again. Okay, that's cool. So obviously we can tell we just layer on some more percussion with a similar reverb and kind of digital delay effect and just adds another layer. That's it's all pretty accessible. I feel like everyone should be able to hear that pretty clearly there. Uh, what was kind of cool that was buried down was like this, like it was like a ooh sound and it was like ooh, just building up a little bit. That was pretty sick. Let's go back 15 seconds. It's like faint. It's not, it's not very present. Okay, so by the time this like Guns N' Roses sound and guitar drops, that like whistly echo sound is really arriving. I got it in this side. I don't know where it is for you, but that's where it is for me. And uh, this guitar line is pretty sick. Let's go back 10 seconds to get into this little uh, thematic uh, additions here. Okay, cool. So pretty much you can say like compositionally speaking, um, hopefully all of those of you that have been coming to the channel quite a bit, we talk about layered listening all the time because in my opinion, this is the easiest way when you like we have a we have a phrase in music called sight reading, which basically means when you sit down, you're reading a piece of music for the first time, you put the page, you put the music on the stand, you're, you're sight reading. Um, this is like sight listening, like basically just for another word you can use is first time, first time read, first time listen. Um, layered listening is a great way to break things down because it just allows you to like absorb things and uh, take it in real quick and then you'll never unhear it, right? If you listen to everything at once, just as like, like, a you know, you think of it like ingredients in the sandwich, if it's all one time, it's, it's not as easy to pick everything out. Just separate the layers, you'll never unhear it. Now, hopefully those of you that are exercising your uh, layered listening muscles in your ear, um, you can see how simple this sounds, right? Like the beginning, we established this groove. That groove has not gone away at all. We've just added like little layers. Sometimes we add something, sometimes we take it away. But the underlining, uh, underlining that boom, two, three, four, dug a note has been there the whole time. As soon as that quarter note house thing came in, that's been there. And our keyboard part 
which is layering with our giving us the tonality of everything that is there supporting that cool like um that minor second melody i was telling you about so none of that went away and it's been present this whole time even through that cool like what i had made, made the joke about the guns and roses sounding guitar so uh yeah that's pretty sick like it sounds really good let's go back five seconds here and let's see if this thematically does anything else or if we stay right in here and obviously also you need to let me know like from what part this is, does this accompany a character is this happening often you know i don't know if this is a theme or just a soundtrack from the show i know it's i don't think it's an opening or an ending or anything but uh no there's no way there's no way it could be an opening it's too simple for that i mean maybe it could be i don't know Cool. Okay. So we are still in the same key that we, we now have a chord progression because before we just kind of boom, we call this a drone when it's one tone the whole way. But now we have the guitar or synth part, whatever, however you want to feel that uh, it has a chord progression that fits in the key over the drone. So we're still thematically in one key here, but now we've got this like fast percussion thing that got good out, good out, got got or something similar to that. Let's go back 15 seconds and kind of grab that. So we have the chord progression going on and then this like two note grouping, 16 note uh, repeated figure that keeps happening. Cool. All right. Well, that that was a short and quick one. So I think actually that's a great one for if you want to go back and practice your layered listening. I think they're all super easy to identify and just really hearing the difference in the beginning to the difference in the ending, but then also hearing the similarities of the beginning and the similarities to the ending. That way, when you practice those listening skills, you'll be surprised how quickly uh, you will hear things and figure them out, especially if you're learning an instrument like uh honestly like if you are like maybe you're messing around with guitar or keyboards or any chording or melodic instrument put this stuff on and sit there and try to pick one part like a, lo a lot of a lot of my students sometimes when they're kind of brand new to music and they're like well i'm gonna learn one of my favorite songs and they sit down and they just hear the whole thing and i'm like no this you, you don't do that you you have to in your ears separate the different layers at least like by instrument type and then you figure out that part you can't just sit down and be like i'm just gonna play everyone's part till later like that that comes in later, especially if you're a keyboard player, or guitar player, then you can do that. But if you're new and you're trying to, if you love anime music, you're like, well, I want to play this on my guitar. Just listen, find the layer that you want to emulate, noodle around on your instrument. To, first, you figure out the key, then you figure out like where the, the leaps and the intervals are going and do it that way. It's, it's a much, uh, it's a, it's a very healthy way to do this. And we kind of, you know, and you can sit down with a friend, you guys can, you can teach, teach to each other. We call that learning by rote when someone shows the other person what's going on and uh you know you don't have to have sheet music for everything but down the road you know that's another stage too but we can talk about more more about that in a different video but uh, that was cool it was under two minutes so like i feel like this is like the quickest video ever on the channel but i still dug the piece of music so that was fun thanks for the recommendation for all eight of those actually so that was cool my name is drummer old tony i'm a streamer on twitch make sure to catch me when i'm live so we can talk about your favorite mob psycho music or just anime music in general you can find a link to my twitch channel in the video description below as well as the discord if you like this video you know what to do click that thumbs up button subscribe all the good stuff so you can catch the next one thank you so much for watching i appreciate you take it easy Bye bye